Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotexions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress widget development tutorial. This is our part number 6. Inside this video session guys, we are going to increase the level of widget development in WordPress. That is, from this video, we are going to develop our second level of widget. Inside this widget, we are going to use third party API. So if I back to browser, and go to our WordPress setup. Inside this WordPress, this is our first level plugin that we have developed. Something called OWP WP Visit. If you go inside this appearance, because while installing that plugin, as we know that this is the widget we have developed. Inside this widget, we have some inputs. We have taken at admin layout, saved the data inside our database as well as render data inside our front-end layout. This is our first level of widget development. Now we are ready to increase or enhance the level of widget development. That is, from this video, we are going to use or let's say we are going to develop a widget which use a third-party API. So first of all, we need to understand that what are the APIs that we are going to use. So we are going to use all about COVID-19 APIs. It provides all about the stats of COVID-19 worldwide as well as country-wise. So if I search this keyword at Google, so we will get several links as we can see here. So if I scroll and click on this link something coronavirus covid19 api hyphen postman click on this link so we will be redirected on this link as we can see here now here we can see a list of apis we have something called default summary countries day one and so on and along with these names we have request type so these all are APIs we can say that this is get request type so let's say that if we click on this summary this is the API link if I copy this back to slide open a new tab and here is the link so this is the link of summary API which basically we will hit by using get request type and here is the URL so if we type into the browser and we will get data something like this this is in JSON format inside this JSON format we have a global object inside this global object we have some properties as well as we have a country's keys which is array of objects so this is worldwide or let's say overall data as well as inside this countries we have country wise data so we are going to use or let's say consume this API inside our second level visit. If I back to our postman documentation and here along with this API URL we have a curl request here. This is a sample code. So if I copy this code and go to Google again search for curl to PHP we can get again several links to convert a curl code into a PHP code. So what I will do I am click on this second link and inside this second link as we can see here paste curl URL or curl here so I am pasting it here and as we can see that while pasting our curl code which I have copied from this postman documentation it has now converted into a curl code so by the help of this code guys actually we are going to get all the data what we have seen here and we are going to use and consume this data to our visit so first of all we need to set our second visit inside wordpress so this is the editor and this is the first level of visit what we have developed back to directory and let's say that i'm going to create a folder something owt covid let's say hyphen and widget now inside this folder i'm going to create a file and let's say that owt covid19 widget dot php now if you go to editor this is the folder we have created and this is the file now inside this file i am to declare some let's say plugin introduction by making means of comment so let's say plugin name and it will be something owt let's say covid19 visit 
here we have some description let's show us a description this plugin will create a visit which provides the stats of COVID-19 and if you go here let's author online web tutor let's say version we have something for this plugin right now 1.0 also we have several options here like author URL plugin URI and so on so for now these are the keys actually we have added in means of some comments inside this file now here as we know from our previous video sessions that we need to extend about core class to register our custom widget inside WordPress so let's say that this will be something OWT COVID-19 visit and we are going to extend WP and widget here and inside this class first of all we need to declare a construct function so let's say construct and inside this construct first thing first we need to initialize all about our parent constructor inside this parent constructor as we know that we need to pass two parameters first is all about widget base id so let's say that if i write covid19 visit and here let's say our name we have to supply here so let's OWT COVID-19 only and while going through the next methods we have as we know that public function we have a form method inside this form method we have our instance variable as we know and this method is able to create admin layout so here admin layout the next method we have something called public function update and by the help of this update method we are going to save our data so this is for save data to database and inside this update method we have new instance and the second something old instance and finally we need to we need a method to render the widget content inside front end so public function and we have the method called widget it will take two arguments so args and this will be something instance now finally after using these methods and one more method we are going to declare inside this class for our personal use all about to get data from api so something public function get let's say COVID-19 data and inside this method what we will do we go here and copy all the codes what we have generated here and pasting inside this method so let's make some formatting to this code so this will return all about COVID-19 data so after defining these basic methods what I, what I will do next let's make a instance of that so copy the class name let's say OWT something COVID-19 widget equal to new and this is the class name and finally inside this construct method we are going to use the action hook and the action hook we are going to use and here we have extra semicolon so get rid of that and let's say add action and inside this this is in small a so here we are going to use widgets in it and inside this anonymous function we are going to use called register something widget it's a wordpress function and inside this wordpress function i am to pass this class name all we have done now so if we save this file back to browser go here and go to plugin section because we had made the plugin and this is our plugin so far we have developed and also guys this is not the single way to make our apis inside wordpress we can use the same code inside functions.php of any theme what you are using automatically the visit will create its layout 
inside WordPress as theme activates. But now we are using the concept by means of making plugins. So this is the plugin. We are going to click on activate button. Plugin activated successfully. Go to appearance, widgets and inside this if we search about our widget and here is the widget called OWT COVID-19. So inside next video guys we will make some layout at admin layout because right now we have no layout we are not saving any data as well as we are not rendering any data to our front end section so this is all about our plugin settings this is the basic settings what we have done inside this video so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day